All right. Time for a Zack game. It is going to be beginners be a beginner's guide for Zack here. So yeah, I'll be playing against a fiddlesticks. I'll explain everything in as much detail as I can. Uh, also, something to mention beforehand, uh, about 60% of the people who watch these videos aren't actually subscribed. So if you enjoy my content, it would be greatly appreciated if you'd consider subscribing or maybe hitting the like button as well. And uh, yeah, I'll be starting bot side here. I don't really want to participate in an invade, mostly for the reason that I just... One, it slows down your clear if your uh, invade gets delayed, right? And you cannot start your clear at like 1.30, that's pretty bad. But the bigger thing is, I don't want to get a kill to start a video like this. So, you know, <laughs> if I do not get a leash, that's yeah, okay. We'll see. I'm against the Fiddlesticks, which is pretty good because uh, I have a lot of CC in my kit. So I should be able to interrupt either his ultimate or his W pretty reliably. I do have to play around that a little bit, but uh, yeah. Now, Zach is one of the better tanks for a solo queue. He starts out pretty slow, but his mid to late game is actually very strong. He has just a lot of carry potential, a lot of damage potential. And that is also damage potential with only like one damage item realistically. If you do need it, you don't even have to build it. Because you do pretty good base damage. But if your team is entirely trolling, then you kind of need at least one form of damage in a damage item. So, you know, there's that. When it comes to clearing with this champion, all you really have to do is... Make sure that you pick up the blobs that spawn around you when your W is on cooldown movement-wise, and that's it. Apart from that, just do not forget to auto-attack and click W off cooldown, essentially. Or, yeah, pretty much off cooldown. It's right there, obviously. I need to wait for the split to happen, but that is near. that's that's pretty much it. Zach's W is just a, a skill that, like, damages around you. Again, gets refreshed if you pick, or, like, one second refreshed if you pick up the cooldown. Just max HP damage on the enemy it's it's very very good dps and it's what makes or what gives Z zach his clear speed really your e is a big leap here as you can see charges up a bit and dashes to the target location you're selecting and this also increases with level by the way so the more points you put into that skill the more like uh, the more range it gets which is why it's the skill you max first because you want to have it for ganking purposes and your Q puts out the elastic. You can use this either on the target you're trying to hit or on anything else because you need to hit two targets with it. So if you hit the target and then auto attack a ward, the, the other target will go to the ward or a minion or another champion or whatever. But you can also throw it on a minion and then auto attack the enemy champion to have the similar effect, if that makes sense. So in both situations, you can apply it. And for your ultimate, you just start bouncing around and knocking targets back. It's just very good CC, pretty much. You can still cast your W and everything while ulting as well, so do not do not forget to do that either. Okay, Fully Bear is shoving up. We currently note here, I have my camps cleared, put another point in E for more range, and we move up. That's unfortunate. I don't think I actually beat him. But too effectively, cause, yeah, it's not... Oh. We see this guy. If he runs towards me, that could be a save on my end. Let's go for this. Onto the Zoe. That's greedy. That auto attack kills him, I think. So that's definitely not ideal. My mid laner just decided that death was the option in that scenario. Because right here, we just do this. We hit him with the Q. We auto attack this, so we bounce him into it. And then once he starts draining, that's what we hold our E for. And then we can keep hitting him. Nice and easy. It seems like he started on Raptors because it respawned at 4 minutes, so we just killed him. We're gonna take his Raptors as well. Since any tier 2 camp you can take, uh, which is... A tier, I say tier 2 is like after the first clear camp. You can take away from the enemy jungler, it's worth it. Now here as well, I'm not gonna clear this scuttle here actually, and you might be wondering why. It's because I do not want to get counter jungled here. Um, you can't be losing your tempo in a situation like this. You need to make sure you're relatively fast. Uh, to clear your camps once again. Also, like, Void Grub Tempo, if I take all the time to do this. I chose to basically take this camp over the Scuttle. It might still be up, but that's all good. Just don't waste too much time on that, because the sec like every single one of these camps is worth way more than that Scuttle will ever be. 
and his raptors are also worth more than that scuttle so it's pretty much a, a situation where i do not go back for that scuttle i will always go for the second clear as a priority or i mean at, at their camps right like that's all good as well if their second clear is a priority then that will be fine as well make sure to keep the tempo going keep maxing your e second Bullplane struggling a bit. Fiddlesticks is over there. He is definitely going for the... Uh... Come. I doesn't... I just have to ping. I don't have chat on, apparently. Okay, Fiddlesticks is definitely doing this. There's no question about that. He gets one. That's okay. i just like to kill him before he gets another one, please. Yeah. Okay, okay fine. He gets two then. My mid laner is not doing a whole lot, unfortunately. Uh, we have teleports on the mid laner, but it shouldn't kill me. Sunfire is also still ticking. Bounce this way. Could be a good CC. Hit the Q for just damage at this point. Auto attack him again and beautiful. Nice. In that situation, we obviously saw the fiddle six go for the void grubs and we just have to ping as much as possible to try to get my team to follow up. Which is what my mid laner did, and we saw the enemy Zoe run bot lane, so we actually have a numbers advantage there, even though the Volley Bear is indeed stronger. The extra man makes up the difference, and Darius shows up relatively quickly as well, so it is beautiful. Fiddle 6, unfortunately, was able to get 2 out of 3 Void Grubs, but that is not a big deal. Getting those skills is definitely worth more, and I got at least 1 Void Grub, and that's all you want, because the 1 Void Grub uh, gives you increased experience based on your jungle item. So if the enemy jungler is doing it, always try to like smite one. Don't over prioritize, but if you're like in the area, always try to just smite one void grub. Because with one smite, they'll never be able to take at least one of those void grubs, right? If you have it. And uh, yeah, he gets two. That's no worries. I get one and we're happy. Um, Actually, do I have enough money for it? So really, I should clear more camps then because I can get it on the next back with like one or two more. It's fine. Uh, against this team, just like objectively looking. Um, I mean, Sunfire does slightly more damage than the other one, but they are relatively high magic damage. And this guy is also building AP Volley Bear. So I think I'm just going to go for the AP version of it, of the like Sunfire Cape in this game specifically. Then again, nah, I'll build Sunfire. Because uh, we think about it. Oh, there's Fiddlesticks. Can I get a Blitz hook on this guy, please? Any Blitz hooks today? No? Okay. That's fine. I'm just going to back, actually. Uh, I think about this, actually, but I can simply just build some Magic Resist afterwards, which should be fine. Because they still have, like, Ash and Pike, so I can build the, the armor into that, and I could just have, like, Spirit Visage plus another Magic Resist item uh, to defend against the rest of their team, so it should actually be okay in this scenario. If they had, like, an AP support, that would be an absolute no-brainer, but in this case, I think I can get away with his Sunfire for slightly more, like, overall DPS with it. Because it's slightly higher. Either way, it's fine. Like, if I would have built the magic resist one here specifically, that would not have been bad. I could just go that into, like, thorn mill or something, like, armor related and be okay. It's completely fine. But I'll, I'll play for, like, the extra magic resist in the form of, like, uh, other items, really. Now, let's see if this is warded. It is indeed warded. I might be doing dragon here. I'm gonna do this. Yep. Figured. I see him on their bot side right there. Like, I could technically run through mid and go for it, but my team seems to be doing fine anyway. And I figured his entire top side is pretty much up, so that's what we're going for. Even if I lose a dragon for three, like, three top side camps like this, I still take that. Because this is a lot of experience, and they deny Fiddlesticks a lot of experience, and my team even denied him the dragon as well, so that's huge. But this, this costs Fiddlesticks a tremendous amount. Clean that up. Clean this up as well, and then we see if we can go top lane here. Okay, never mind. I'll go do the Void Grubs then. I 
try to drag him a little bit further together so I can have AoE damage going. My, like, team should have the priority here because their Volibear also just died, so I don't feel... Like, Fiddlesticks might ult over the wall here, but I'm gonna hold my smite as long as I physically can. To smite the last one with it. Max for W second. There we go, beautiful. Uh, anything else here would be too over-aggressive. And Fiddlesticks is topside, so I need to backspam ping my Darius because he's not paying attention. He shouldn't die to this. Ooh, actually with ult he might die to that guy. Ghost used. That's uh, him not paying attention. He did survive though. Not bad. I'd use your E for mobility throughout your jungle clear. This is important. This saves you a bunch of time. Now I'm gonna recall here because there's nothing like I'm, the entire top side's gone, right? So I want to go to Sky the base, spend the money I have, and then look for bot side cam slash dragon, buy the CDR boots in this instance, and then I'll wait for one health crystal. Perfect. Now the dark seal is just there because it's a very very good item to sit on. You can potentially upgrade it into a Magi's if you want to, because uh, I mean you do have okay AP scalings. So it's definitely not bad. Uh, so it's an option, but just the Dark Seal is very, very good value for money. So I would recommend just buying that regardless. Don't see them on Dragon, so I'm just going to clean up these camps. Wait for my mid laner to at least be back on the map before I decide to go aggressive. Uh, so we could just clean up some camps here for that. You don't want to over-aggress in situations where your teammates aren't around, if you can avoid it. Because let's say I would walk instantly super aggressive to like... The mid, like the scuttle or maybe an invade or maybe start drag and anything of that nature um, the mid laner on their side would just be able to prioritize a rotation and my mid laner would not be close so we'd be at a numbers disadvantage instantly and that's something not something we'd like to see right okay, so we see aggression on bot lane here we're gonna run down there as fast as we can and we hop in hit him with that and an auto attack the fit nope out of range the fear was too good Bounce him, flash to get a good position so I get a good bounce, and then we just keep pressing W. There we go, beautiful. And that one here, we simply just Q, hit him, CC him, and dead. Perfect. I saw the auto attack come in, that would not have done enough damage, so I decided to smite, which also doesn't do enough damage anymore these days, so my, my smaller gets the kill. I don't mind getting the kills or not on Zac, it's not a priority for me. Zac is one of those champs where it's like, your team should get it. Because you're playing a tank. I mean, if you do get the kills, like I am getting kills here, right? Like I'm 8 out of 12 KPI, 4 kills after, like sure, but um, you don't have to. And you can obviously build one damage item to make sure that you can do enough damage to make the kills worth it. Good dash, that's fair. Alright, we're just gonna hop over this way and go do red buff here. Remaining up with the clear speed. Okay, that's unfortunate. Might be able to... Oop. Okay, even more unfortunate. Um, Let's see if Pai greets for turret here. That's possible. Ash, maybe. Did she see me? Or is she just playing safe? I don't have ult yet, so I don't really want to go in too badly, if that makes sense. I should be... Oh, I just send it on Ash, honestly. Ash ult used, that's fine. That's a pike dead. I'm going to just walk away from the Ash. I don't think she can kill me in time. Let's hook some. I have passive. Let's block it. There's a fiddlesticks here. Stand in the closest corner. Do not get hit by the Ash W. And finish off the Fiddlesticks by jumping in. Uh, the only reason I jump in there is because I have passive up and it doesn't really matter. <laughs> because if I don't have passive in that situation, I would never jump in because the risk of dying would be too high. But because of passive, like, my E will land, the CC will go through and then, you know, it's fine. He already clicked his W as well. Right, right now we just need to back. We have a tremendous amount of money that I need to spend. And this is just going to be purely based on like what's going to be good in the situation. So I can just go simply pretty aggressive magic resist right here. 
And then another magic resist item here, because I have enough armor built in the form of Sunfire, so it's going to go double magic resist for the rest of these. Uh, if I'd have the other Sunfire or the other, like, um, the Hollow Radiance or whatever it's called, I would obviously not build double magic resist items here. I would go, like, armor item. Or is it, like, uh, this thing? If I had that, I obviously built slightly differently into more armor. Because at that point, I'd need a little bit more armor. But I built a Sunfire in that sense, so we'll just have this. And then we're going to go Offensive Magic Resist in the form of Abyssal Mask. To have more damage output, basically. And then we can go one Defensive Magic Resist item in the form of Spirit Visage. Because it gives me increased healing on my blobs as well, which is just very, very good. And that will be two Magic Resist items, and at that point, we should be looking pretty good. I can also, because I'm, like, doing relatively well, opt for, like, an extra damage item. We see Fiddlesticks bot side with just blue buff. We note earlier that the top side recently respawned, right? So he instantly went bot lane, which means all of his top side camps should be up, so we can take him again. Which is a big advantage. And so something to note, like, if you can look at, like, respawns and stuff and just, like, see the enemy in positions, always try to check if, what buffs they have, you know? Uh, in this situation, I already knew because I saw in bot lane he would never have had the time to clear his top side camps, so I didn't even necessarily have to check. But checking if they have the red buff or not, and you saw it respawn relatively recently, allows you to, well, you know, steal a bunch of experience, and this gives a colossal experience advantage over me, for me. Because I took so many of his camps, right, that I'm just, like, so far ahead. I'm, like, 50 CS up on the guy and two levels higher because of it. That's a big advantage to have. Again, this can be upgraded, but if I'm not upgrading it to do, into a Magi's, which I won't be doing for this video, um, it's still worth 55 ability power for that 350 gold I invested into it, which is super worth it. In this situation, in this game specifically, I'm obviously doing really well. I think it'd be worth it for me to build an extra damage item. Just to do more, you know, which I will do. Uh, the damage item I'm talking about is just always... Like, if you need an extra damage item, it will always be Leandris, essentially. Because it's just very, very, very good damage on, uh, for you, Vonzak. So we got the hunting guys here, and then we can build for that. This this thing will get replaced at some point uh, for a tank item, pretty much. Or a Leandris, I guess. That could be the move as well if you're, like, finishing it off. But as long as you have the stacks on it, there's no reason to sell it. Just try to hold it in your inventory. It'd be worth it, you know? 55 AP is good. Oh, I see some spiciness going on on both sides. I'm probably going to have to rotate for that one. Hey, get me some gold out of this. Move over this way. Check the E for range. That's annoying. I interrupt this ult with my ult, or is drain with my ult, sorry. About here, maybe. Oh, she didn't use it correctly good. There we go. Perfect. I wait with my CC for the ult there before Fiddlestick starts draining because I want to interrupt him. So that's what I do there. And I, you kind of need to check your E. Like, you can have a feel for the range if you play enough Zac, but otherwise you kind of have to check it. So you kind of hover over it real quick to see what the range on it is so you see if it can reach. Generally, the answer is yes, because as you saw, the reach on that is massive. But, you know, <laughs> definitely something you're going to have to be aware of. All of my camps here are up, so we could just keep a nice pace here. Definitely, like, try to look for opportunities as much as possible while your camps are down. It's a, it's a big, big thing. Like, the more you can do that, the better it will be for you. If you, like, go for a play um, or, or gank when, like, literally your entire jungle is up, that would be a big mistake. Now, in a situation like just now, right, when they get engaged on, my entire jungle was technically up and ready to clear. However, in those situations, you just go for it. Like, just go for the play. It is not a, like a rule you like have to follow, but it's definitely one of those where it's like, try to avoid it unless the play really is like free and stuff like that, right? Because with the smolder coming there as well, like it, it's just a play we can, we can opt to go for. And let's see if the Volley Bear shows up. He does. We can kill him in four seconds, pretty much. So I'll finish off this camp and then we'll E over and go for it. We'll have good damage. 
Like, Zach does good damage, as you can see. Like, it's good damage. And I'm a tank. I don't have a... Like, I mean, okay, I have a Lian I have a Haunting Guy, sorry. Yes, I will agree. Uh, but I don't really have, like... It's all tank items, right? W does a lot. We get the Leandris as our one damage item here. And then we're gonna go for the... Um... That's actually an interesting one. I'm not sure which one of these two I should take. And they both build out of a different thing. I need to think about it for a bit. Because we have a magic resist item additionally will be good here, right? Um, but then we have either force of nature or the chaotic, whatever that's called, thingy. Chaotic is good against burst, but force of nature is good against mage DPS. Okay. Um... This is Burst, that is DPS, and Phil 6 is actually DPS, so I should go Force of Nature. Oh! I... yeah, didn't... I wasn't thinking about that. I will admit, that's my bad. I probably could have prevented that from happening. Oops. <laughs> that's... Um, hmm. Fair enough, that's a good move from the enemy team. I was thinking about, like, magic resist items and explaining it, and then, yeah. They do a Baron. Respectable. I mean, it's not going to lose me the game. That's okay, but respect. Ash is actually quite fat. Fair enough, mate. All right. Uh, we see the top side respawning with the red buff and like, everything. Obviously, they just did Baron. Uh, this is going to be up. Either Fiddlestick tries to fight me and dies or... Yeah. They go bot lane. I would like to use this Herald before it disappears. And the ideal targets are either this turret or that turret. So I'm just going to send it into top turret, I think. At least, because these turrets are worth the most gold. I'm just going to use it. This guy's probably going to have to walk back. I'll bounce it into the turret and, you know, get some value out of it. Just use it on this. We could probably finish the entire turret because the Herald's very good at it. Even without minions, you can just finish it like that, which is beautiful. Just good money right there. We both got like 350 out of the deal because in total it's 700 and you split it two ways. So it's just... Yeah, it's just good value. And let me actually clean this wave up so this doesn't... Like, Volley Bear has nothing to go for here. I... I'm getting tickled by Zoe. Oh, I'm getting interrupted by Pike. Nice. Nico coming in. All good, nothing to worry about. Volley can't do anything to push here, by the way, because I'm cleaning his wave up. <laughs> So he's looking here at the turret, but he's never going to get a wave. So he's just like, yep. There is nothing he can do to push right now. It's kind of funny. I fully can't do anything. It's just, oh, well, I mean, I guess Ash can just push if this guy's farming Krugs. That's not ideal. Don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me. Wait. What? Dude, that was a recall. What do you mean? Uh, son of a... Okay, now this is a problem because my team is losing this fight badly. And I just need to rotate now, so I'll be moving as fast as I can. Apparently, that is... Yeah, that is that outcome. It's rather unfortunate, but hey. TP coming in from Volley Bear. I thought I could prevent Volley Bear's push, but I wasn't thinking that my team couldn't do anything against an Ash push, apparently. So, uh, yeah, it's not great. Oh, Blitz. That's unfortunate. Can you hit this... Ah, uh, they're gonna get a dragon. We have two deaths, so I don't think I can actually contest the dragon either. Which is extremely annoying. Don't hook the volley bear! Okay. Am I doing this? Screw it. Got it. Perfect. Uh, whether that's worth it or not, I'm not 100% sure, because I'm definitely dying for this, but... Can I get a teleport? No, there's no teleport. That's sad. Teleport could be used on one of your blobs to save you, to get back up. Like, I'm not sure if this is worth it. Like, trust me, because I was worth a thousand gold shutdown right there. Uh, but I did get the dragon. So... I, I don't know about this one. Ash's physical damage. So, like, all I really have to do here is I can just, at this point in the game, sell these boots for steel caps to reduce Ash's damage greatly. Because um, the CDR boots are mostly for the early game. I mean, obviously, they're, like, good later on as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. I need to, uh... 
Where is this? Interface. Your inhibitor has been destroyed. Team, okay. Everybody. Don't FF, please. Relax, it's fine. Jesus Christ, this FF vote is scaring me for no like come on, like wh why man? Alright, I got steel caps. I know I think that's enough armor to be honest, but I'm Okay. Interesting. Uh, we got three dragons, so there was that. I just need to make sure I don't lose another Baron, because that was not good. My team is struggling. My smolder is pretty much useless as well. Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be a tough one for sure. Last item will just be a thorn mill here. We'll, we'll reduce healing output and just reflect damage as well. Make it nice and easy. Oh my god, please stop. How much does this sell for? And that's not enough. I need them to group. Oh. Can I move today, please? That'd be great. Get the pike out of the way, because he's free. Do anything. Flash auto attack. Block them together. CC her. I currently do not have a 4 mil yet. Thank you, die, please. Jesus. Jesus. Okay. We got it. It's fine. Thorn mill is going to make Ash, like, suicide on me. So that makes my life way easier. He's gonna hit third. Oh, she's backing in this bush. Okay, let's see if I can... I should be able to do enough damage on the guy. Pick up my blobs here as well. The sleep is rather annoying. But it shouldn't be a problem. Pick up that blob and just dash ahead of her. And she should be dead. Perfect. Can we bear in here, please? Trying to get my team through this one. Really trying. I don't have smite for this, though. That's not uh, that's not good. Ah, it's weird, like... Damn it. That smite's gonna be a problem. I think I messed it up somewhere. Is it, again, am I gonna have it in time? I should be close enough. Fiddlesticks shouldn't get here fast enough, but... Our damage isn't great. Ten seconds on smite. Six seconds on smite. I'm pinging it as much as possible so my team knows. I'm trying to slow damage a bit as well. That smite's perfect. Nope, 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 nope. You're not doing that, Phil Six. I already knew exactly what you were trying. I'm good on that one. Go for the Ash. Try not to give her any space. She needs to be the one that I prioritize because she does the most damage. Perfect. We see Fiddle Six coming in from like a wall angle, so he obviously wants to try to go for an ultimate, and I obviously want to try to avoid that from happening, so... Yeah. Okay, this is the moment in time we sell this thing, and we get 4 mil off that one. And then we'll get an elixir of iron as well. You see all of this, so it does no turret damage as much as possible. I don't need CS, but I do not want this wave to touch too much, you know what I mean? I want this wave to really disappear quickly, so we don't get any turret damage or anything like that. So just because these are super minions, I'll just clear the wave so it pushes and we can play for this dragon. We can five-man that and communicate this to my team, it should be fine. I could still sell my boots technically for like an even higher dam or tank item than it, but it's pretty damn good against an auto attack based champ to have boots, so I feel like there's not that much of a better tank item I can actually get. Trying to be an oh, Zoe is top lane. I think I just sent the dragon in that case. Is in my if Zoe is top, I'll go for it. Oh, that's not the real fiddlesticks, but he's gonna fiddle ult soon. Do not let fiddle ult is all that really matters here. I just want to get this dragon. Getting mountain soul on me right now is huge, so I just want to focus on it. There we go, perfect. Beautiful. And we go in on Zack. Sweep for a ward in case I can hit something with a Q and an, uh, the auto attack combo there. Nice. I will ult on that, that's fine. Seems like my team is getting obliterated here, apparently. Looking at this damage is beautiful. Apparently my team just lost. Wow. 
flash used as well. We have some minions pushing our base, but our inhibitor respawns, so there's that. I knew it. I knew she was gonna walk past me there. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, no, 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 that's bad. Okay, and actually, I should be surviving. I thought I was gonna take way more damage there, but I really didn't, so that's good. Go for this guy. Knock him with the minion backwards, and he should be dead, hopefully. Team, can you focus the volley, please, Blitz? Are you serious? <laughs> just like, let him live. Fine, okay, I need to heal back, so we're just gonna do the camp and spawn as many blobs as possible. So, as you can see, I can just heal back off all the blobs. Ooh, beautiful hook. Well done, buddy. That is what we like to see. Hit this and that, and then we eat. Okay, he eat. That's fine. Ah, beautiful. Well done, Blitzcrank. Love you. He used to just used his dash, so Blitz had a pretty free target to just hit him for, which is beautiful. I am doing massive damage on Zack here. Right. Clean out the wave. We tank something. We spawn out as much blobs as possible to heal ourselves to full. And we just go for this thing here because double turrets is a little bit too greedy. Because you can double inhibitor and be safe with it. Because double turrets, like, it's pretty hard to push, but they're also respawning relatively soon. Uh, so just getting this is good. Now we just need them to back off. Don't want to overaggress here. If the enemy team would overextend, okay, well, they did. So I guess we can try something now, but I don't want them to go too aggressive with them just respawning. This is an engage for me. I'm killing Fiddlesticks because he is uh, just something I don't want to deal with. I'll tank double turrets for a bit. Engage on Zack before he kills my Darius. Pick up as many blobs as possible. The next minion wave should allow me to heal back the full. If I could just hit something. Blobs, pick them up. Make sure to pick them up because you heal a lot from them. And I'm pretty much back to full HP off that. There we go. Enemy team went a bit too aggressive. And allows us to end the game right here. But uh, that is it for Zack. As you can see, very high, very, very high value tank. Very strong tank. And uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed this one, make sure there's a like button. I upload daily, so be sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the end game stats. All right, so for the end game stats here, I ended up doing 37.6k damage, which is the highest on my team. Nico came in second. She did a uh, solid amount as well. Ash did good damage and Volley Bear as well. That's just be expected. But it has a, pretty much a full tank, essentially, right? Because I only built like one damage item in the form of Leandris. Um, I did a lot, like a lot, a lot of damage. So that's good. True damage at 2,000. We have objective damage at 60k here. This is a big one. Me, like, trying to get as many of these objectives as possible is a big one uh, for, like, value. Obviously, they did quite a nice job with that Baron, which caught me off guard a little bit. But, yeah. Healing done at 84k. This is a colossal amount of healing, and that's your blobs, right? Like, the, the, the things you pick up heal you for a lot. You see it at the end there as well. Blobs healed me for, like, 500 each, so this is big. We have damage taken on top of that, another 48.5k, which is the most as well. Self-mitigated at another 91.8k as well. So I took by far the most damage. If you combine these, there'll be 140k damage taken thereabouts. And like that in combination with having done the most damage as well, it is just very, very strong. Uh, the power of Zack really. Gold earned at 21.6k. This is largely due to the consistency of the clear, because like I kept kept being as consistent as I could be, and I kept denying Fiddlesticks all his camp. So my CS lead grew on him, but I also have 280 CS at 32 minutes. This is like very, very, very and crucial and important to be doing. Try to path as efficiently as you can to make that happen. That's a big one. Uh, Aftershock for 1700 damage dealt and 1445 mitigated. Font of life for a potential healing for your allies. In this case, they were dying the entire time and I was like kind of winning fights by myself. Uh, so they didn't get as much healing out of it, but usually this should be pretty high as well. Conditioning for additional resistances. Revitalize for 6200 bonus healing. Triumph for 4500 HP, additional gold and then tenacity for the CC reduction. Uh, but with that, with but with that being said, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.